my sickness, haunted by your own looming mortality? Not anymore. Now there's Icaret, a technological miracle that lets us transfer consciousness from one body to another. That's right, humanity's wildest dream has been fulfilled. The dream of immortality. Now, when sickness or old age starts dragging you down, you can bid on a brand new body at your local government auction house. Give yourself and your loved ones a new lease on life. And don't forget, the body subscription service is mandatory for all citizens 21 and older. So protect your investment. Always avoid illicit substances, Never skip any mandated shell inspections. And prioritize your well-being, physical, psychological, and especially financial. <coughs> and <the last coughs> payments will result in your body being submitted to a bailiff auction. And remember, any and all violations will be prosecuted by the Department of Mortality. Don't you already know who the murderer is? That's not the point. And at least tell me what's going on. Just watch, okay? This is the best part. Ray's questioning the suspect. And when are you gonna question me? I don't want me to question you. Don't you want to? Shh. <laughs> Should I handcuff you? We always uh, handcuff suspects. I think you'd better. Sounds dangerous. I'm always dangerous. Too bad you didn't warn me before we got married. Would that have changed your mind? James, would you love me if I had an ugly shell? Or a shell like that one? Would I love you if you had a guy's shell? That's your question. Or... Or if I didn't have a shell at all. Promises to the contrary. Fucking politics. Mało wyraźne. Może jednak wyłączyć to? No jak, stara gra. Co takie szybkie to jest? Yeah. <laughs> 
How you feeling? <coughs> Back in the saddle, <coughs> Chief. I uh, sent you the papers. Oh, I know. I'm looking at them. You hear this? Fuck! What are you... Don't tear them up! Fuck! The accident was barely two weeks ago. Look, the committee already thought you were a hot mess. Trying to come back this soon? That's just got him convinced. You're no fucking medical miracle, James. Chief, we've been busting our humps in the same department for half a century. You know I know this fucking job like nobody else. And you know I've got your back, too. Come on, Chief. You gotta let me come back. My hands are tied. Officially. Yeah? So unofficially, I'm all ears. Political case. Discreet. I'm listening. You'd be doing a favor for a guy whose signature trumps every tested commission out there. Why do I feel like there's a but coming? Because you're fucking difficult. Also, <laughs> not just sync tests. Can't get you back in the system. So, I'm gonna put you with a liaison officer. She'll be the one with full access. A babysitter? Fucking hell. You asked for it, sunshine. Wait, I'll put her on. Smugglers getting caught. Lucky for me. Fucking years of work in taxes. Great. Jesus. <clears throat> what the? Oh, fucking lock. Whoa. That's for the brave new world. So immersive you could drown. But of course, drowning is forbidden. Blocked like any other exit from paradise. Kara? James? Kara? No, fuck that. No way. Forget it, Chief. You're already on the line. James. Sarah Kai. Sarah. James Kara. Let me go pull some strings. Back up. He dropped us into some bullshit, didn't he? And I had such good stats up to now. Yeah, I'm fucking thrilled to be working with you, too. Uh, what can I say? Your reputation precedes you, especially after you fucked up half the city with that train. I don't remember much about the accident. Tell me, it was kind of a spectacle. You don't remember? So, what, you haven't synchronized yet? Chief Steiner trusts me. That ought to be good enough for you, too. Yeah, well, so did your partner, right? Uh, the one who ended up having to get their eco right reconstructed. Okay, I'm back. So we're best friends now, right? Sorry, boss. Sarah, I've said to all the authorizations, forward the package to Karen. Look, you don't have to trust each other. Just report everything. Got it? Steiner out. All right, let's get the show on the road. I need the address of the nearest post office. Fine. That girl in the hat overshadows more and more of the city, doesn't she? Sorry? Well, the one from the body auction ad? I haven't seen it. How could you not see it? It's on every goddamn corner. Did you know there used to be rooftop bars in the city? Yeah, until they figured out open spaces make desynchronization symptoms worse. Oh, shit. You don't buy into that nonsense, do you? Tell me something, James. Do you know the feeling, after you've spent time in a wide open space, when you go back to your capsule apartment on the ground floor? Uh, I don't live in a capsule apartment. No, you fucking don't. So maybe stop talking out of your ass. 
warn you, though, I am not saving anybody from Demer. I got principles. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm talking about how they make such awful food. Anybody who works there deserves whatever happens to them. James? The post office? Looks like TS-45-7. You're in Times Square? It's the last place they play good old-fashioned crime stories. <laughs> yeah? You like watching how the cops used to do it? Detectives, not cops. Big difference. I'll take your word for it. Okay, movie buff. Go for the package. Platform 53D, Terminal 3. for unconventional methods. Oh, me? Oh, come on. Everybody knows you don't give two greasy rat shits about regulations. The only thing I ask is that we act professionally, okay? I'm willing to give it a shot. No promises. Great. Better than nothing, I guess. It's the spirit. Dobra, dobra. Enter your full name and shipping code. 
James Cara, 77112P. Police shipment. Additional verification required. Enter badge number. 984. No authorization. Shit. Sarah, I need access. Oh, right. Uh, enter my number. 116-739. Thanks. 116-739. Thank you. The package is on its way. We hope you enjoy it. Confidential and will be automatically destroyed after reading. Select a section to read the files. All we have to do is yank the ichor right out of the corpse and get it to the consciousness transmission center. You've done this before, huh? About a thousand times. But why all the secrecy? Don't tell me this is about some big wig getting caught with his pants <coughs> down. Oh, what a fucking cliche. Subject's name is Edward Green. Who? Hard to confuse this mug with anybody else. Green sponsoring some kind of exhibition in Central Park. I saw it on the news earlier. Oh, yeah. I heard about that. Well, let me look it up. Yep. It's supposed to be in a few days. He'll have to get back on his feet pretty damn fast, then. Okay, Green, Edward. Oh, shit. Sarah? You okay? Shit. Shit! Oh, I'm reading up on Green. Holy fuck! You know who this guy is? Relax. You said yourself this was a routine job, right? Routine my ass. Green's the head of the Covenant. Not to mention he used to be the goddamn Secretary of Hell. Fucking hell, James! Why isn't this going through official channels? So there'll be no scandal. Our job's to keep it hush-hush. You know what could happen if the Icarite of a guy like Green fell into the wrong hands? The fewer people know about it, the better. The atmosphere's tense because of this bill to reduce free body subscriptions. Now you're catching on. Look, there's always an upside to shit like this. You get Green's gratitude? Bet you'll have to ask Chica to speed up that dream promotion. Where's his body? Fifth Avenue, top floor. Looks like it's Green's own apartment. You'll get a chance to see the wannabe Olympus with your own eyes. Want to tag along? Uh, no. I'm not authorized for field work. You don't leave the house much, do you? What? What kind of question is that? I'm just connecting dots. You haven't seen the ad that is literally everywhere. And you don't want to come with me. I already told you. That's because it's against the rules. And stop detective baiting me, or whatever the hell you call it. Is this about your whole afraid of wide open spaces thing? I'm not afraid. All I was saying was that the research found that the things that... I know, I know. But you did grow up on the ground floor, didn't you? If I say yes, will you fucking drop it? It must have been pretty damn difficult. Living down there. It was carefree as a fucking fairy tale. And that's the end of this goddamn conversation. All right, I'm all up to speed. Then let's get on with it. Attention, documentation <coughs> will be automatically destroyed. 
James, I, um, I know you're not reinstated yet, but have you recovered from the accident? Like, mentally, I mean? Looking out for me and for yourself. For both of us. We're, we're in the same boat, right? Listen, you just kick back and put your feet up, all right? You've got nothing to worry about. I'll ping you when I get there. Car out. This job. I'd take any job at that point, even though political cases fester like rust-laced wounds. I was off to hang out with high society, of which I always had a low opinion. Maybe because it consisted mostly of low people. At this altitude, the air was so clean that without a smoke, I was beginning to suffocate. <laughs> Good. This was supposed to be an accident. Fuckers hanging from the last cherry tree. What do you mean the last? Like, last, last? Mm hmm. Let's pull the echo right and get out of here. protection for replacing a whole body just because somebody gouged out your eye is unprofitable I guess not for him and here he scores a few points points for what this engine could push a car up past 120 miles per hour running on gasoline on the ground you know it's hard <laughs> enough to imagine driving on the ground and all Put 120? <laughs> no, I called bullshit on that one. Huh. Didn't they have wings? Horses? No, Pegasi. Um, Sarah, that's a horse. Pegasi are mythical creatures. <laughs> Some paleontologist you are. These days, horses are mythical, too? No. Mythical animals are fictional. They never existed. Whereas horses are extinct. Like dinosaurs. <laughs> of course. Thanks for the lecture, Professor. Hey, you asked for it. James, end of topic. Let's move on. Nujara. Damn. He really got cooked, didn't he? Well, I'm still going to need a photo for identification. I mean, it could be him. Could doesn't cut it. We have to be sure. This is guesswork, James. I won't identify him. Not officially. I expected you to be a little more savvy, given how much the Chief sang your praises. Ah, don't worry, it'll be fine. Oh, fuck savvy. I'm in this as deep as you are now. What are you gonna do? Just check out a few things. What's that supposed to mean? 
James, just... just don't do anything careless, all right? Moving on to reconstruction. Seen this. What? Some kind of anomaly. Who cares? It's green. Pull a Zikarite and let's go. Insurer's problem. Come on, let's go. Sarah is dead. <laughs> like, you mean final death? Dead? Well, just. I, I mean. Sarah, listen. I've seen this before. Look close. Take a few deep breaths. Then we'll start looking for who did it. We have to report this. We have to. Anything beyond that? I, it's. <sighs> I'm. I'm sorry. Mm -mm. Sarah, relax. You're not doing anything. Got it? You're not even here. <laughs> if only it were that simple. Omega code 112358. Suspected murder. side of the body is more heavily charred. The tree must have exploded after he'd been hanged. James, stop doing this. It wasn't just a fire. I'll find the cause and we're out of here. Someone stopped them. Better for them to 
disappear. That was evidence! For fuck's sake, James! Who do you think you are? What gives you the right to just do whatever you want to do? Hey, now. Don't be envious. Oh, fuck. Green sponsored it. When I was little, I wanted to be an astronaut. But after this disaster, Green shut down the whole program. Well... The first mission did crash. Yeah, during the landing, everything else... Okay, so he's interested in art. Doesn't seem to be too much he's not interested in. See how much good he's done? He helps children. Orphans, supposedly. Uh, we can't know for certain. I mean, maybe he really did help them? Oh, sure. He helped them all sign up for the first body subscriptions. That they could never afford. Adjacent. Shit, maybe they are real. James, tell me you're not going to steal a cigar. Not like he's gonna smoke it. Great. Now you can add thief to your CV. He never got remarried. What happened to the first wife? Refused Icarite. Died a natural death. But wasn't that illegal? She would have had a top-down warrant served, right? Green only introduced that legislation after her death. Hang on. Are you telling me Green couldn't handle it that his wife died, and he fucked up our whole fucking society because of it? As far as I can tell, people's bullshit personal trauma is always what fucks up society. things around and around with your feet to make it go. Ouch. It's scary how little we know about the world before the Icarite. No wonder they don't teach this in school. Someone with the president? Hmm. I recognize him. Wait, it's green. Old shell? The first one. That's bullshit. Which does not change the fact that even before inventing the Icarite, he was a big shot in politics. Green. Older than Icarite. 
How fucked up is that? Dying in the process of transplanting your own invention. His body rejected it, right? Guess he drew the short straw. That's not what I heard. I heard it was human error during the procedure. Chief, it's impossible to work under these conditions. I don't want to hear another word out of your mouth. You're going to drop whatever shit you picked up, and you're going to write a clean report about a tragic accident. Got me? Uh, you pronounced murder on I'm not asking. Tell him. Record that I strongly advised against this course of action? I should have known better. I should have known you couldn't handle it. It's just an incredible life thought. Surely Kara can't buck up something that simple. Chief, listen. I found a file. It's got your name on it. A name? What are you? All right. You're done. You hear me? Get out of there now! I want those files on my desk, ASAP, along with the suicide. Oh, it's a suicide. I thought it was an accident. You can call it a motherfucking ascension for all I can. Just get it off our books! This city all stinks. It's not just Green's rotting corpse. why nobody wants to work with you. I'll look for any pre-explosion traces, then we're out of here. James, I wasn't born yesterday. You said that before, and I don't believe you. this date long ago. What's up with the snake? Mm, check the encyclopedia. Green was holding this bottle before he died. Uh, unique taste of our gin. Juniper's communis, passion, respect. Looks tasty. Someone tried to smash that glass before the explosion. Cracked it and left a handprint. Stop it. James, you've got to stop this. What? What's he doing? Oh, finally paying attention. Great. So, now the question is, did Green try to crack open that plate with his own forehead? 
Or did somebody else use Green's forehead for the ball blue hammer? Covered his tracks pretty damn skillfully. So someone was here. Huh? What? You gonna tattle to the chief again? Would you just let that drop already? What's done is done. No point in picking at it. Wait, wait, wait. We're not going to work like this. There's gotta be at least a baseline of trust here. Yeah, well, that's all well and good, except we're running out of time to figure out how the tree got set on fire. So Come on, chop chop. Shit. What happened? The fuse is just blue. What? Why? The reconstructor needs massive amounts of energy. Sometimes the limiter doesn't adjust to the environment and pop. Blue fuses. There you go. Well, so I don't have to do everything myself after all, huh? A man could get used to this. I just shifted power from three different neighborhoods so you can keep playing detective. Don't mm -hmm. make me regret it. <laughs> Something went off here. Probably some kind of relic. Best of friends, always auspicious winds. Green. That asshole had friends. Hard to believe. I'm getting a bad hit off this thing. I wonder which one's the best friend now. I wonder why a gift from Green is in his own home. Let's see what the patient has to say. to Green's blood type. He was fighting with someone. Or he cut himself as he jumped. Maybe. We learn fast. He fell from there. If he cut himself on the railing, there should be blood on it. <clears throat> Someone must have pushed him. Himself here. This is weird. Green's fingerprints are on the railing. So he was leaning against it? Looks that way. came from this side. They? Half of the reconstruction is inconsistent. Someone must have been messing with it. We don't have enough information to find the other one. I think this went down. They fought. Somewhere in there, the attacker slipped the rope around Green's neck. Well, in any case, Green didn't jump. Someone pushed him. Wait, there's a <clears throat> 
blood trail here. <clears throat> you must have gotten cut before the hanging. Do you have a UV lamp? What? Are you aware that UV radiation causes skin cancer? James, are you afraid of UV lamps? Call it whatever you want. I'm just not a fan of melanoma, that's all. Kurva, nice. He was walking up these stairs. Unusual shape. But he was lying here. Begging for mercy. Another trace of blood. Hit it with the UV lamp. Well, look at that. The tracks connect. What he got? I do. And it still wasn't enough. Shit. Sounds like you hated his guts. <sighs> oh, please. He's got something on his clothes. Some kind of chemical? Huh. The reconstructor's coming up goose eggs on its composition. Must be rare as shit, then. Stretches across the floor. I'll switch to UV. Oh, now don't pretend you're not afraid of UV anymore. I am not afraid of the lamp. Only radiation. We're not discussing this. <laughs> the tracks lead this way. Looks like Green was rummaging around the transformer. are torn out. Same as the one around Green's neck. You think he did it? I think someone made him do it. Exactly the way the perpetrator wanted it to. Seriously? You're repeating yourself. There's something here. James? <clears throat> I've lost visual. are on their way there, so consider this a heads up. If they find you, I don't fucking know you. Are you? You're serious? We've been friends for fucking decades and you're gonna hang me out to dry?
How's the situation? They're coming. Time to clean up. Sarah, if we're gonna keep working together, you're gonna have to promise me something. What? That you'll never do anything behind my back again. Are you fucking kidding me? Are we gonna pinky swear? Should I let you know every time I change a fucking tampon? James, the feds are coming. So, grow a pair, and please, with a fucking cherry on top, clean up this mess. Whoa. Yes. Now, come on, move before they bust us. Time to go back to the underworld he cast us all into. In the gut of a body, not my own. I can feel this case is nothing but trouble and heartache. And even worse, it's personal. A lit cigar pressed against a wound that never heals. That's me. The second time I've seen Icarite completely melted. Just when I got a little better at forgetting the first one. Apartamento do Idanara, ok. É o 537th floor, yet the thick stench of piss soaked streets still fills the air. So yes.
was your day? Excellent. Only one corpse. I'm glad to hear that. Due to the high level of air pollution, I recommend full body decontamination. Taki to widok. Sakra jakaś. said I smashed it with the ball during the game. The truth is, it was after the game. And I had a ball-shaped stone trophy. A football trophy. <laughs> nice. lucky enough to even meet a woman like that. Ah. To fajne kurwa ciało. Island with the imitation sun. We never had time to go there. New voicemail message from Old Bastard. Kara, I'm waiting for a report. You know which one. I advise you to get a move on. past. I feel like I'm taking them more and more often. You're lucky I don't need to water you. Depend on me, and you won't have long to live. Hey, I was 
co? Wspólna kurwa? It's hard to get used to a face marked by someone else's mistakes. Though for some reason, it's much easier with the eyes. Once the life fades out of them, they can belong to anyone. space to fire up the evidence board. Sarah? How's the job going? To complete my report, I need to summarize the evidence. I need access to the system. You heard Chief Steiner. He wants it classified as a suicide and sent straight to him. Sarah, look, I'll owe you. I need to check a few things. Let me remind you that we've known each other for about five minutes. Do you think I don't know why the chief put you on restricted duty? I read your wife's case file. You're gonna leave my wife out of this, okay? Look, the fact that she committed suicide the same way <clears throat> affects your perception. She didn't commit, fuck! Listen. Sooner or later, some egghead will read the report with your signature on it and ask one fundamental question. Who fucked it up like this? Well, you say then, that the chief told you to write it down as suicide, or that the investigation was conducted by a cop on sick leave. Oh, fuck. We're in this together. Just give me access. Shut up. I have access, so I analyze and I put the evidence on the board. Is that clear? As clear as day. Nobody talks like that anymore. Look, let's not fight. Let's connect the dots one by one. If we agree with the conclusions, we move on. You'll agree with me sooner or later. The sooner we get this over with, the sooner you can write the report. <laughs> it's the spirit. I should clear up Sarah's doubts about the murder. First, I have to prove that somebody else was there besides Green. And when Sarah takes the bait, I'll convince her about the rest. Look, you don't have to try to convince me that Green is behind everything. Suit yourself.
This is creepy. Ugh, looking at this makes my skin crawl. <clears throat> you don't want to know what it's doing to mine. Got something? Nah, it's nothing. He could have cut himself, maybe. Like how? Shaving? It'll be hard to defend the theory about these cables. The moment of the fall is puzzling. I want to say that someone kicked him, but we don't have enough... Got it. We can start somewhere. I was hoping for more enthusiasm. Not gonna happen. Ouch. Okay, we still have shit, but we can at least ask two questions. First, what's the actual cause of death? Second, who's the culprit and what's his motive? Are you saying you're getting involved? I've already changed my mind. Are you the same with guys? I won't correct you on everything you just said that was wrong. <coughs> Besides, I'm looking for more information about the evidence. But seriously, no more jokes. I found some interesting tidbits. Please share. Only with friends. But I'll make an exception for you. We would have seen a shootout in the reconstruction. Hmm. Must have happened before. Maybe he shot someone? Apparently, he had a heavy foot. 
He was just showing off to a girl. If I had such a fancy car, I wouldn't need a girl for anything. He didn't glow at night by any chance. Because of everything in his blood. Many drugs are rare, withdrawn, or from government projects. Wait, how do you know if Green doesn't glow at night? I don't want to talk about it. We haven't known each other. Which one's the best friend? Nope. I have to wonder if someone just dropped it here. Or if they threw it back in Green's face. of events worries me. Green himself. He had guests. What do we know about them? Kovalev is a smuggler and the owner of Icarus. And Salma, as you know, is that famous psychologist and a psychiatrist. A smuggler and a shrink. Quite a pair of farewell guests. Says what I think it says. We're getting somewhere. This is no proof. What? But a very solid hypothesis. <sighs> I agree. Let's move on.
those substances don't show up in the system. Yeah, how did you know? I'd say we're looking at an old school cover up. No, I don't think so. No, that would be. What? Unethical? complicated about this. But what next, James? This is clear, and... No. Give me a minute. It's all magnetic now, so it's literally hanging in the air. And when you fly downward, you're dropping. You know what's going on. Now we only need the motive and the perpetrator. Yeah, then tea and we'll find Kennedy's killer before an evening snack. Who? Oh, jeez, how did you even get through high school? I used to play baseball, I forgot, and I was fucking great at it. Right, now I remember. <laughs> James, this is fun, and I play three more games of solitaire, but it won't prove anything. What else do you need? More facts, or it's a waste of effort. Talk seriously. Is this some lame engagement joke? What? No, it's, it's not like that. I, I just have something for you. If it is, however, some stupid joke, I will get fucking mental on you. There is one more piece of evidence. Sorry? Why don't I know about it? It's not in the archive. Because it's not a photo. Oh, wait a minute. <sighs> Tell me you're joking. I'm begging you. It turns out I think it is indispensable. You took physical evidence from the crime scene? 
They'll put us in jail for this. Oh, shit. I take it back. I'd rather have the engagement ring. It's beautiful. A vial of strange liquid. Probably poison. This creepy voodoo symbol on it makes it more mysterious. More importantly, the material of the vial might retain fingerprints. What do you think? Show me. If you have any more stolen evidence up your ass, you better get it out now, before you hurt yourself. Not this time. Consult your doctor. There's even a term for it. Kleptomania. Symptoms <laughs> include paying for it someday. <clears throat> first days after changing into this shell, the shakes were so bad I couldn't come out here. The city sprawls in every direction. It's only a matter of time before it starts devouring itself. This infernal racket is the pulse of the city, the main artery leading to the CTC itself. Everything was in Sarah's hands now, which was neat, since my own hands were shaking in a delirium I inherited after some punk I've never known. And one more thing, in the meantime, please send that damn report. What about evidence analysis? You got evidence illegally, and you want to put it in an official report? Let's hold off. I'd rather have a better view of the situation. 
We can decide later. Bunch. A cigar worth three salaries of mine tastes best when it's free. Real tobacco tastes real good. Mm -hmm. Bitter taste of everything we've lost. What we get is fake views, fake smells, the fake food, fake hope for rats locked in an ever tighter cage. Green's legacy. So yes, I took a single cigar for compensation and wish I'd taken more. I also have a grim certainty that no more compensation is forthcoming. Regarding Green, the chasm between the past and the present seemed to be hard to swallow. Even for him, was he getting himself full of ambrosia? Because all these little souvenirs of a long-gone world aggravated his desynchronization? by things we've lost. Could they increase desynchronization? Is that why Green stuffed himself with ambrosia? James, are you in front of the board? No, I went out for a breather. That sample, you were right. It's definitely poison, but that's not all. There was a fragment of a print on it. I managed to reconstruct it and search the database. So whoever that print belongs to, that's our murderer? Maybe. A person of interest, for sure. It's a damn big fish. Slippery, too. Oh, you're gonna make me beg? What's the fucking name? I don't want to say right now. Somebody on the street might overhear. I sent you everything by snail mail. Let me know as soon as you get it. Deja vu. Snail mail. This one? I wouldn't start celebrating yet. We'll never get to him. He basically never steps outside Icarus. But you do believe this is a murder now? Well, yes. But... Special announcement. Engine problems have been reported aboard Icarus, which is currently flying over Brooklyn. We ask residents of the borough to stay at home and shelter in place. There is no need to worry. Insurance for bodily injuries will be fully applicable. Whoa! James, did you hear the announcement? I even felt it. Damn, are you that close to it? Are you all right? <sighs> the news feed said it crashed into a building and that it's about to fall into a chasm. Yeah, we can't pass up a fucking golden opportunity like this. Pass up a gold? No, wait, James, are you crazy? Too late, bye! <laughs> <laughs> The bar was named Icarus, and met its end fittingly. I didn't have time to savor the irony. 
An impossible chance to get Kovalev has just fallen out from the sky into my very lap. Or at least my very neighborhood. On site. Ambulance is in 13 minutes. Secure the area. Do not go inside. I say again, do not go inside. Sounds like good advice. Well, I prefer to interrogate corpses. Their deaths tell me more than their lies would. James, evacuate whoever you can and get the fuck out of there. Little late for that. See for yourself. Oh shit. What the fuck? Good question. Help me identify Kovalev. I bet his corpse will open right up if we ask it all nice-like. How about this unicorn guy? Seriously? No, it's not him. <laughs> Not him either. Kovalev is fatter. Whatsoever. Shit, can't find it. Moving on to reconstruction. James, we don't have time. Sarah, I'm going to find out what happened here full stop. Understand? <sighs> okay, sure.
screen. I wonder what's inside. James, don't even think... We have to reconstruct the lock. Fuck. It's as far back as it'll go. So we don't know what caused the explosion? Not yet. James, robbing Kovalev <coughs> is not the same as swiping a cigar from a corpse. This whole place is about to fall apart and take Kovalev's secrets with it. I'm not about to let that bastard get away from me again. Hey, if you fall, I'll say you acted alone. I'm fucking serious. Fine. Let's get to work. His bar. Looks like it's filled a few Bloody Marys, so to speak. The traces lead here. Some unidentified substance. Reads is flammable. Kovalev started walking from this spot. Leading like a faucet. a suicide report no matter what. I'll figure out where the shots came from. Got the latest generation? One that picks up the trajectory of bullets? Relax. I'm old-fashioned, but I make exceptions for toys that make my job easier. Hello. The attacker shot from the stage. Any thoughts on who did the shooting? Got a dead guy here who'd make a decent suspect. He's great at playing a dead guy. Really in character. He shot Kovalev before he got hit himself. private security company founded by someone called Miller? If I were this guy, I'd look for another job.
fired four shots before he fell to the ground. But only one hit Kovalev. Why was a security guard shooting at Kovalev? Good question. Something provoked him. He must have been startled and have such shitty aim. Straight in the Icarite. Whoever tapped him was a fucking excellent shot. So now the question is, who? Exactly. So long, Edmund Christo Basmond. Completely crushed. Multiple minor injuries. It's covered in some kind of flammable shit. We found the same substance on Kovalev. What does it look like to you? Something exploded right next to him. Concussive force broke all his bones. Intense heat set him on fire. Shit. The poor bastard really suffered. Yeah, well, suffering's nothing new. Especially for people who eat Demer food. Can you find the source of the explosion? As long as this shit glows under UV light, yeah, I think so. Decent guy. You knew him? Nah, not really. He shook my hand a few times in the old life, that's all. <laughs> a scarf? I saw this pattern somewhere. You know, from the photo? From a speed camera? Uh, it's a scarf. But, yes, indeed. Um, Jane Salma had a similar one. Similar? Identical? Uh-huh. But, uh, it's just a scarf. Besides, there's... 
There's no sign of Salma's presence? No, not yet. I see a code on the hand. Will you check it? Expensive bodies don't usually have those. Could have been a recent purchase, maybe? Just hadn't gotten around to removing the serial number yet? Huh. Weird. It's unregistered, but the body was bought by Phalanx for... Holy shit! For four million bucks? Way too pricey for a bodyguard. Sarah, meet Mr. Miller. You think that's the owner of the company? That arms dealer smuggler. Don't bother looking in the system. You won't find anything. This asshole works for the government. Ooh. Got some documents. I don't believe it. Do people like this always keep secret papers just lying around for anyone to see? Looks like the law on lowering the age of free subscription is just the beginning. What? They want to make it even lower? And add tons of taxes. I'd say it's a long-term plan. Have they gone fucking insane? They can't do that. The boy was planning the games. Did you read about that? He wanted to distract the crowd. Miller was probably supposed to protect the rich. Someone sure fucked those plans up. Oh, just breaks my heart. I wouldn't say fucked up. Late, maybe. You know sooner or later they'll resurface in new bodies. At least it ought to take them a while. Right. Well, in any case, the longer the plan takes to get started, the better it'll be for the rest of us. Fuckers. Whoever blew them up may have had a point. You got that right. happened to people. Just bad luck. I'd say his luck was a little worse than bad. <laughs> came from someplace else. Effective. Ugh, James, I'm begging you. He's got 
something on his neck. Check it out for me, you? It's um, one of ours. Agent from the department. How the fuck did he get in here? Jealous? Yeah. <laughs> of the undercover's blood? Uh, would have bled out. Must belong to the guy next door. Check the DNA for me. No data available. Shit. That's gotta be some big fish. I'll take photos. I'll identify him later. Someone shot through the suitcase lock. I'll check for ballistic trajectories. The side of the bar erupted in a hail of hot lead. Turned the lounges into Swiss cheese. Into what? People used to talk like <laughs> that. I heard in some movie. Oh yeah, I forgot. You're a movie buff. Sat there in the lounge, all cloak and dagger and hushed tones, until the spray of bullets caught them flat footed. He managed to scram. Agile body, best reaction time. Grade B, maybe even A. Where did he get the money for that? 
The bullet turned his brain to mush. It'll take years to reconstruct his Icarite. James, can you get into the suitcase? Oh, check out what I said. Okay. Lock works. Let's see. At least we know where he got the money for that hot rod body. Why is our agent neck deep in this? What's his fucking deal? I don't think we'll get any more out of the Swiss cheese lounge. Let's move on. How can we connect it all? Ballistics points to Kovalev opening fire on the guests. I'll check around the bar again. Shells, 45 caliber. No shit. That's what I figured. Kovalev used the Tommy gun. Nothing like the classics. He took out Green, then he got to the rest of his gang. Turned against his own. It started with Kovalev. First, he served a cocktail he whipped up himself. He treated the next guest with a hail of bullets. And he finally earned a bullet himself from Oscar Wino Edmundo. as good as he got. In the end, he finished off the crooked UC. It's all just so unnecessary. Necessary or not, in the end, the neon got him. He got hit hard. We're lucky. You know what they say. Follow the trail of blood. Nobody says that. Time to break out the UV lamp. 
Nie da mi spokoju. We've got a lead. The trail leads to this guy. Another suicide? As far as the chief's concerned, without a doubt. We've got Kovalev's prints on the handle of the knife. What the fuck? It wasn't just his drinks that had a kick. Who's the knifer? Zikarite's cut. I'll check the blood. Miller's bodyguards. Seriously, where does he get these guys? Nice display of bravado. I bet he was in the army. You don't get reflexes like that just from a body. It takes training, years of it. I'd also say he had to use the knife, because I think by then he'd lost his gun. job. Here, you got hit again. Kovalev got shot a few times. He kept going. The reconstruction's complete. Get the safe. data. Open the fucking safe before it all collapses. Roger that. Green road to Kovalev. 
Oh, I see. Now, do you want to be scraped off the pavement? Right. I can think of better ways to spend the evening. Queen and Koval have been working together. And why did the fucking bartender want to blow himself up in this particular place? What was he hoping to accomplish? Fuck. Sarah, are you there? Who would have thought that the fly that was buzzing over Green's corpse would get stuck on Icarus. Can't find a window to fly out of. Who's this? The question is, what can I do for you? And how much can I help you understand? Buzz yourself around the right discourse. The one you missed. You'll need to be more precise. There are several corpses here. Close to Kovalev. Close enough to take him out with an explosion. The time to be the net the bastard was trying to trap me in. I had to act fast. so determined to kill this guy. He almost got away, didn't he? Do you recognize him? Wait a minute. George Boyle, CTC director. From the rotten family that invented the Icarite. His signature was on the documents from the lounge. He and the others found a way to strip the poor of their bodies to pad the pockets of rich assholes. He's just another dead asshole to me. What do you want? You have a unique chance to get justice. Desynchronize him. Buy some time for the poor people. How? This is just his corpse. It's cold. The guy no longer feels anything. Shoot him through his Icarite. He'll suffer in his new body. And more importantly, he won't introduce more body taxes so soon. It will take months, maybe years, before he gets back on his feet. You gave time to people who really need it. <laughs> Not so great body on a great hand, and damn was I right. Instead of dead, I was ahead for once and ready to break the case of the century. 